Over the last couple of months, we've been talking about a lot of different nutrients that are super important in plants. Everything from the major nutrients, N, P, and K, all the way down to the micronutrients, including things that you have probably heard of and maybe even fertilized with on your farm, like zinc, boron, copper, manganese, and iron. Well, today we want to talk about three nutrients that you have hardly ever heard of before, may never have fertilized with, but we want to talk about the importance of them in your crop. So it's molybdenum, cobalt, and nickel. Let's start by talking about molybdenum. This is one that's gotten a little bit of attention now the last few years in agriculture. Certainly, even 20 years back, there was some talk about molybdenum, although not a whole lot of use in most of the United States. But molybdenum is one that's starting to get more play in soybeans and legume type crops. What we see with molybdenum is the availability in soils is a little better if the pH is 6.3 or above. So there are many farmers that need to lime acres and one of the reasons they're liming is they're seeing a little more molly show up. Unfortunately, not many people are testing for molybdenum. It seems to be one of those nutrients, as are the others that we'll be talking about today, that you really need to request to be on that soil test or you're not going to see it. Now with molybdenum in alfalfa, it's often responsible for leaf drop. If you see a lot of leaf drop in alfalfa, it's because it could be because molybdenum is low. And in other crops, molybdenum is very important taking nitrogen and converting it into amino acids. So if you want to help that nitrogen process along, this is certainly a nutrient that has a big influence on how nitrogen is utilized in the plant. All right, I want to talk a little about nickel. Now, the only reason you have probably ever heard of nickel is what? For the U.S. nickel. Okay, well, how much nickel is actually in the nickel anymore? I don't think it's that much. But anyway, talking about crops, it was only a little over 20 years ago that it was recognized that nickel is actually a nutrient that is important in crops. Prior to that, what we often thought of with nickel is it's just considered a heavy metal, kind of like chromium or cadmium or, I mean, there are a bunch of these heavy metals that you say, you know what, if I get some water treatment lime, or let's say that I get some municipal waste, I want to have that tested and make sure that my levels of heavy metals aren't so high that it actually hurts my soil. So Darren mentioned molybdenum already. That's also considered a heavy metal. Molybdenum and nickel, the EPA has guidelines that you cannot exceed for applying to your soil. Now, I'm not too worried about that for this whole conversation here because the plant only needs a minuscule amount, just a tiny amount of nickel each year. It might already have enough, but now we are finding some fertilizer products are made with a little bit of nickel in. Even on our farm, for example, the micro blend that we are using at planting time on both our corn and soybeans contains a very, very trace amount of nickel. We're also using a little bit of this foliar, and we do have some farmers that are seeing some response to this. All right, so what is nickel important for? Well, it's important for a number of different functions in the plant, but there are a couple I'll mention specifically. A little bit like molybdenum, it's important for nodulation in plants in some of those legumes. It also is important for how nitrogen gets utilized in the plant. So I'm not saying if, oh, you had a big nitrogen shortage in your corn, that the whole answer is nickel. But what I am saying is that could be a very small component of it and something you may want to consider looking at on your farm. Now, in terms of testing for this, there aren't a lot of tests that are commonly run out there for nickel, so you'd have to specially request either a soil test or a plant tissue analysis test. Well, the last nutrient we want to talk about today here, Brian, is cobalt. And when I went to college, I also took animal science classes and looked at balancing rations, looked at pasture health and all these things. And one of the things that I heard was, well, you need to know how much cobalt you have out in that pasture because it's going to be important for livestock health. That's about the only time I've heard about cobalt, Brian, is livestock health. You want to have a tiny little bit out there. So we've done a little bit of testing on our farm looking at just that. And guess what? If you're not testing for cobalt, if you're never applying cobalt, you may be running short. So do, again, test for this nutrient occasionally, especially if you have livestock and you're going to be taking pasture or hay or feedstuffs to that livestock. So with our discussion today, we just want to make sure that we're very clear here. There are a lot of things that are more important than molybdenum, cobalt, or nickel for your crop. So definitely take a look at your pH, look at your N, P, and K, look at your sulfur, some of your micronutrients, all that stuff you've got to analyze first. But if you get to the point where you go, you know what, my yields are pretty good. I got a lot of these things fixed on my farm. 
I'm looking for what's the next thing I could be trying. We would encourage you to try some very low rates of these fertilizer products and certainly run some tests. You don't have to spend a lot of money or do it on a lot of acres to begin with, but until you start testing, until you start just trying a little bit on your farm, you're never gonna know if molybdenum, nickel, or cobalt could actually help your yields. One thing that I know will help your yields is controlling our weed of the week. We'll talk about control methods later in the show.